Welcome to Sing If You Can. It's my brand spanking new game show, which I invented with my brain from scratch. And it involves famous faces singing hit songs, whilst me and the bang tidy Essex Cockney Southern lady, Stacey Solibind. Is it Solibind? Solomon. Solomon put them off with a series of devilish and dangerous distractions. Stacey, let's demonstrate. You sing a song and I'll, I'll distract you. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to close my eyes. <laughs> I don't want to fall asleep because... <laughs> It's kind of like that. Of course, the distractions are a bit more technical, that, and much more elaborate. This is Sing If You Can. For a film, remember Footloose? Oh, yeah. Where you couldn't sing in that little in that little town, you couldn't sing. Imagine if you could sing, if you can sing, but they won't let you sing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Keith Lemon, and welcome to Sing If You Can Sing! <laughs> the celebrity singing show where celebrities sing if they can. But it's not as easy as singing if you can, as they'll be distracted by all manner of different ways, followed by me and some of my unemployed friends that just want jobs in telly, that's all I want. <laughs> oh, you give me Stacey! It's horrible. That's right. <laughs> Our celebrities have been busy practising their songs, but we've got lots of surprises for them during their performances. Our audience will choose their favourite team of the night, and they'll have the chance to win cash for Teenage Cancer Trust in our final game, The Money Spinner! <laughs> are ready and waiting to dazzle us through the power of song. So let's meet them. Yeah. I'm Ray Quinn and I'm probably best known for running up for The X Factor and uh, I'm currently in Dirty Dancing in the West End. I do love rap and hip hop music. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. Ice, ice, baby. I've got a weak spot because I'm easily distracted. <laughs> I've just got to sort of concentrate on not laughing. My name is Kinga Kerslake. I'm a classical singer and I was the first signing to Gary Barlow's record label. I always warm up my voice. Maybe I warm up my body too. Well, I guess we'll find out if I can sing through anything. My name's Darren Goff and I'm probably best known uh, for playing for Yorkshire, Essex and England at cricket. That's why I'm retired. <laughs> I'm winning straight to come dancing. Yeah, yeah, we bring the stars out. We bring the women and the cars and the cars out. Am I a good singer? No, am I a I'm rubbish. Competition with just one team. Let's meet to the team! Hi, I'm Rodney Marsh, and um, probably most famous for being a footballer. What achievements do I have in singing? <laughs> None. I love you. The most I've ever done is to sing on the karaoke. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm Lisa Maxwell, and I'm most known for being a pretend policewoman on the bill and for being a loose woman. Baby, baby. Some of us are looser than others. I haven't had many real accolades, but I've sung a lot. Maybe now's my time. A 
Well, my name is Mikey Graham, and I'm a member of the pop band Boys On. Never going to give up because, you know, when the going gets tough, I'd probably say it best. When you say nothing at all. I think this is all a bit of a roller coaster. And that's not actually a boys' own song. What are we call the teams then, Stacey? I've called them Team One and Team Two! <laughs> team One and Team Two. I tell you what, seeing as all that's the red corner, let's call them the Darth Vader team, cos he had a red lightsaber, didn't he? Oh. And we'll call the blue corner Luke Skywalker team, cos he had a blue lightsaber, didn't you remember? Remember them? Luke yeah, Skywalker, Darth Vader? Would it be nice if they didn't have so much rivalry because they were family and to see them having a father and son space beer in that space pub, remember when it was full of monkey pigs monkey. Uh, and they played saxophone? <laughs> of my showbiz friends here tonight to make up what I like to call the panel. So let's make the panel! <laughs> Jenny Christmas! Jamelia! And Richard Bacon! <laughs> Gerard. Yeah, mate? I always want to call you Gerard for... Gerard. You kind of just call people whatever you want and get away with it. I like it. OK, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Tea. Big tea. Uh, big tea. I, I like your shirt. Thanks, mate. And um, your surname is Christmas. It is. Have you got any kids? I, ha I do. I have a daughter. So you are Father Christmas! Oh, yeah. 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 I tell you what, you're not here to um, give scores tonight because it's up to our audience jury who will decide who wins or loses. So, yeah, positivity, yeah. OK? Yeah. Jamelia! Hi, Keith. Have you ever been distracted while singing? Cos you sing on stage, you sing songs, cos <laughs> you're a pop star, singer, singer, panellist, shoemaker, <laughs> stationery stealer. I've heard that you steal stationery. I don't know if that's true, it might be a rumour. Have true. you ever had any distractions? Um, there was an occasion where my dress, my whole dress fell apart and I had to hold it together <laughs> while wow. performing the song. Is that on YouTube? No. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no. And of course, me and you, we used to go out with each other, but we'll talk less about that tonight. And yeah. don't, don't focus on me, focus on the performers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Bacon, you're one of my idols in the world of broadcasting. Thank you so much. Um, what yeah. kind of skills are you going to deliver tonight by judging? Not judging, let's, let's just say, sort of, um, what's the word? Um. <laughs> Saying sort of things that I thought you were good. Um, yeah. What are you going to say? Yeah. It's a very good question. What you're implying there is that there's no real skill to being on a judging panel on a talent show. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and you're... Uh -huh. <laughs> you're absolutely right. What kind of words of encouragement are you going to use? That sort of thing. Uh, I I'm going to say... Um, you were good. I liked it. Well you, done. Yeah, you were good. <laughs> um, nice one. Yeah. Well done. Nice one's a good one, isn't nice it? Nice one's a good one. Oh, uh, smart. Yes. <laughs> the panel, everybody! Our first challenge tonight is a jewelet. You won't find it in the dictionary. It's not even a real word. Keith made it up. It means two celebrities from different teams both sing the same song under the same hilarious conditions. Singing Do You Love Me by The Contours, it's Mikey Graham and Darren Goff, as you've never seen them before. <laughs>
was supposed to be a duet. Who do you think won? Well, it's a tough call, cos it was like watching two men dancing in massive croissants. <laughs> um, <laughs> So uh, you've got you should keep them because that's like your own private bouncy castle right there. And that's <laughs> good times. I would have to say, I, I'd go for blue. I'd go blue, for blue. blue. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It was just hilarious. The best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing Jamelia has ever, ever seen. seen. <laughs> I like Richard's face when he was watching. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was somewhat awestruck. My first thought was, oh, Mikey from Boyzone's really let himself go. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was impressive. I thought you did well. I think Mikey. Maybe you danced slightly better. You actually managed to be fairly suggestive Did despite I? dancing wow. in an enormous rubber balloon. <laughs> I think you may have created a new form of entertainment tonight. <laughs> the panel, everyone! <laughs> Right, Lisa Maxwell sings the Yes classic, The Only Way Is Up, plus Ray Queen and Rodney Marsh tackle Jazz, <laughs> Park Life, and an extraordinary Duelet. Stacey, Get away now. you look bang tidy. <laughs> Join us after the break. You'd be crazy to go away. I don't mean that offensively. So I'll see you after the break. to sing if you can the show that takes celebrities makes them sing and then medals with their performances to see if they can still sing hence the title sing if you can so far tonight we've seen mikey graham and darren goff blown up but now it's about that time where <laughs> let's check yes it's exactly that time where i like to dress lisa maxwell up as a fox here she is <laughs> I just gotta say, um, your shoes go well with your nose. <laughs> Let's have a wee tail. I never thought I'd be on primetime telly asking Lisa Maxwell if I can have a look at her tail. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, you've been in the bill, you're a loose woman, mm. and now you're dressed as a fox, about to be hoisted up, and then you'll be lowered down into those bins here, yeah. and you will root around like a fox in these bins thus. Right. Is there... What am I looking for? Anything? You're looking for your dinner, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Is this so you can get into the role? Yeah. Are you ready for it? I think so. Well, I'll get myself into position here at the control panel, cos it'll be me that is um, hoisting you. Oh, they didn't tell me that! <laughs> Singing! The only way is up by Yaz and the plastic population, it's Lisa Maxwell! <laughs> Your shoes don't look like shoes anymore, they look like hoofs. 
Well, look, she's got hosts, <laughs> Mr. Tomless. <laughs> <laughs> like a fawn. Oh, like you think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the power for. Richard! Lisa, you did well. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very and much. And you look very good as well. Well, thank you. As thank a foxy likes you, yeah. Oh, right, OK. I do too. Do you? Yeah. You're scaring me now. Give <laughs> me that on. Do you? Thanks, Ivy. Stop it. <laughs> Jamelia. She was a foxy lady, wasn't she? Definitely a foxy, foxy lady. lady. <laughs> Thank you, Jamelia. I, I just want to know, what have you done to upset him? Like, what? have you offended him in some way? I mean, it's... It doesn't seem to like no. you. No, I don't. I, you know, I like you a lot. You, that's the only reason I watched Bill when you were on it. That's the only reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's backtracking now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you did good just to even get to the end because I'm telling you, once I'd got into the first bin with the air, and so I would have stopped there. I would have, you know, you did brilliantly. You're well very done. Very kind. Thank you. Lisa Maxwell! What a woman! So I thought you did really well. All of our celebrities are here tonight to raise cash for a great cause. Teenage Cancer Trust provides specialist units in hospitals to help young people fight cancer. If you want to find out more or to make a donation, go to itv.com forward slash sing if you can. Our next celebrity is to do by tonight are Luke Skywalker's Rick Quinn and from the Darth Vader's team, it's Rodney Marsh! Is it true that you've got a game plan for tonight's show? Well, uh, yeah, I'm just going to, um, you know, keep my head straight, keep yeah. forward, keep focused and uh, try and win it for the Blues. Is it I mean? also true? <laughs> yeah. That's a rivalry. That's crazy. Is, is it also true that you were Eddie Munster in The Monsters? Yeah, yeah, that was true. Yeah. And you were also in Brookside? Yeah. Oh, princess back on, yeah. Do you ever see Jimmy Corkle or, or Mick at uh, that pizza place is my life? <laughs> Do you ever see any of them and or sit there and cry and pray that it's going to come back? Um, no. <laughs> all right, then. But you're, all, you're also a good singer now and a dancer. Everything you put your hands to, you're good at. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> In a nice way, though. Oh, thanks, yeah. Good luck tonight. Cheers, pal. All right, all right. <laughs> You've played in some great teams with George Best, Bobby Moore. Now you're in a team with Mikey Graham and Lisey Maxwell. <laughs> Are you pinching yourself? Is this the dream? <laughs> Is this well, the pinnacle? We're going to do our best. Yeah? We're going to do our best. Are you a dog man? I don't mean that you <laughs> run around <laughs> sniffing other dogs in the street and stuff, but, you know, okay. are you a dog fan? I love dogs. I'm, a, I'm very much a dog lover and yeah. I've, got the I've had two golden retrievers for many, many years. OK. The challenge is to sing a song while successfully joining a dog display team. You up for that? Absolutely. Now, that's obvious what it is, cos that's why I've got all this here behind us. Like crops, are they? So, yeah, it's, well, not at all, no. <laughs> you get into position. Get, get yourself into position. And, um, <laughs> just putting their hats on. In the industry, I think it's called a meat hat. OK, my only advice is, protect your knackers. <laughs> Singing the Blur Classic Park Life. Give it up for Ray Quinn and Rodney Marsh! <laughs> Confidence in the preppers of the Virgil Bjorn, which he also known as...
What do you think? <laughs> wow! That was best in show by a <laughs> long show. Someone going, when do we end? When do we end? <laughs> <laughs> um, the Pearson show has to go to the uh, shiny oh. coat, moist nose, good, That's strong me. teeth. No, it's not you, Pete, it's Ray. We also need to highlight just how dangerous it was that they had meat on their hats. Yeah. They had meat hats. It was like Lady Gaga meets Blur. <laughs> Seriously, guys, uh, well done. Good to hear a proper Thank you. cockney. Two for a pen! <laughs> <laughs> for, for, um, if you've got a friend called Paul, what's he called? He's called. Paul. And when you go <laughs> swimming, you go to a swimming. Paul. <laughs> and when you open the door this way, you. Paul. What's going through your mind right now? It was wicked. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. I must say, obviously, Ray, love you to bits, but you're used to performing Rodney. I was so surprised. It was brilliant. <laughs> well Thank you, Keith Lemon. I thought that was really impressive, guys. Well done. <laughs> and... You've got a standing ovation that you deserved, to seeing iconic lines such as they all go hand in hand, hand in hand through their park life whilst having dogs jump through your inverted crotch, Ray, well done. <laughs> um, to both of you, that was the performance of the night, Thank without you, question. <laughs> if, I have to pick, if I have to pick a side, I'm going with Rodney. Classical star Camilla Kerslake sings a song. I think it's going to go down a storm. Storm being the operative word. <laughs> yes. And one of our celebrities will get dropped in this. <laughs> See you after break. To sing if you can. I'm standing here with Camilla, who is a brilliant singer. That rhymes, you say it don't rhyme, but it does. <laughs> Camilla, sing. <laughs> Camilla, what's going on? Um, a bit excited, a bit scared about what's going to happen. I really want dogs to run out, but it doesn't no, look like No does dogs, it? it's going to be no dogs <laughs> at all. Um, I mean, I'm a bit concerned for you because um, I've seen the run through of this, and um, that dress is very nice, and I'm sure it'll look nice when it's on the floor. <laughs>
that one nice. <laughs> oh, he looks like he's had an accident. <laughs> Can I look on here? <laughs> oh, Canola, have you ever sung your way through a storm before? No. <laughs> no, that was a unique experience. Was it fun? Medium. Medium. <laughs> You did really well. Let's see what the panel thought. Richard, what do you think to that? Yeah, well, congratulations. <laughs> I mean, you know you can sing well anyway, but I guess you're not sung under circumstances like that. You remember when um, Susan Boyle walked out onto that stage of Britain's Got Talent and that went around the world on YouTube? I think something similar is going to happen <laughs> with this performance tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of those hits will be me. <laughs> um, but well done, it's great. Jared! Well, uh, fantastic, awesome, all of it. Uh, <laughs> um, what? My favourite thing, my favourite thing was that you were singing the song Stay, but we could all see on your face you really wanted to just go. <laughs> And um, also, uh, I reckon you should get bonus points for potentially ruining Keith's suit as well. That's, uh... <laughs> if you want to ruin it again, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find it hard singing with all that rain and...? I think singing a um, straight, sad song yeah. when you're having, like, snowballs to the stomach and... <laughs> oh, I'm really cold. <laughs> and water dumped on your head. But, you know, it was so much fun. It's for such a good cause. Uh, of course Thank it you. <laughs> choose which team wins and which team loses. First, though, the captains of Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader will choose one teammate to sing one last song. But it's vital they choose wisely because the losing captain tonight will get dropped in this. The Sing If You Can Fish Town! <laughs> Stacey, did you get us a crocodile? Um, I thought you said get me some crocs for the tank, so I went out and I got you these. <laughs> Slippers gonna do? How's that gonna strike fear into the hearts? You're useless! <laughs> Crocodile! <laughs> <laughs> During the next two performances, the stake couldn't be more higher. Well, it could be higher if you'd have got a crocodile. <laughs> yeah, <duh. laughs> Crocodile's fear! As the winner will not only save their captain from a dunking, but the entire team will get the chance to win extra money for charity in our grand finale. Over to Stacey, who couldn't get us a crocodile. Just one thing, that's all I want in a crocodile. Thanks, Keith. Aww. I'm here with the two team captains, Darren and Rodney. Captains, the pressure is on. It is. Whoever you choose tonight could keep you as dry as a packet of dry roasted peanuts. <laughs> 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 Darren, who have you chosen to sing for you tonight? I've chosen Ray. <laughs> Ray's gonna sing. She said by Plan B. I love oh. this song. Star Fighter Captain Rodney, yeah. who have you chosen to sing on your behalf? Well, um, we had a team meeting, so we all <laughs> we all agreed. Lisa. Oh, what was she be singing? And, and Lisa's gonna sing Toxic by Britney Spears. Lovely, lovely, bit, Britney. Do you think she'll stay with you the tonight? Yeah, she's been brilliant so far all night, so let's hope so, eh? Aww. Just remember, during the next two songs, we're not going to do anything to distract them. It's all about performance. Good luck to you both. Thank you. All this bit, this is my favourite part of the show. Singing Toxic by Britney Spears, hoping to save her captain Rodney from a dunking. It's Lisa Maxwell. I love this woman. Lisa Maxwell! <laughs>
Flexer. Now it's time for Ray Quinn to flex his vocal muscles singing She Said by Plan B to save his captain Darren. It's Ray Quinn and she didn't say it, I said it! Ray Quinn! She said, I love you, boy, I love you so. She said, I love you, baby. Oh, 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 oh. She said, I love you more than words can say. She said, I love you, baby. Hey, 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 She's obsessed with Cause she likes the sound of my music But she makes her a fan of my music So I love goes down to music Cause she can't ever read the man for the music And I'm saying all this in the stand I'm a girl cries tears in the gallery This has got bigger than I ever could have planned That the sound by the Valerie Said the jewelry don't look like the buying it This is making me nervous I was crushed in face like I'm trying it Your eyes fixed on me like I'm nervous You wanna lock me up? Throw away the key You wanna send me down Even though I told him she Your boy, I love you so. She said, I love you, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, she did. Oh, oh, oh. Ray Quinn there. I could have done better if I was Ray Quinn. Very good. Hello. Now, imagine that you're not famous and you're part of the audience jury. Who would you vote for? Okay. Uh, Jamelia, oh, who do you vote for? Jamelia Walker or Darth Vader? Oh, Jamelia, who I... do you vote for? <laughs> Jamelia, I used to vote for you, didn't I? Stop talking yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I just think, just purely based on Camilla's performance earlier... Um, Luke Skywalker. Uh, oh, theme. yeah, it would... But, and, and also, Ray's performance was wicked, yeah, so, yeah. you know... <laughs> Are you good at long division? No. No, you can't no. do maths. <laughs> can't do maths. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Bacon. Yes. Please. What's in your mind? Talking about those performances there, and if you've got to pick one out of the other, then I'd say probably Ray. Uh, well done. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. I would think I thought it was fairly evenly matched. And then when you started doing the the actual rap for yeah. the Plan B song, I was one over. You yeah. know that was that was <laughs> that was right. Jared, yes, Pete. Skywalker or Darth Vader? It's a tough call. Uh, let's all be honest. Toxic it certainly wasn't toxic because it was amazing. <laughs> and uh, it has to come down to some harsh choices. And I wish I wish everyone could go away as a winner tonight. Uh, everyone is a winner, but some are going to win more than others, and I say it's Team Blue. It's yeah. 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 Our panel says Skywalker, none for Darth Vader, but it's not up to you. It's up to our audience jury, who have these little pads. <laughs> You've got these little pads here. <laughs> Vote for them. Remember, you're voting for the team you want to win. Vote now, you sons of biscuits! <laughs> Remember, audience jury, you voted for the team that's entertained you the most over all the challenges. The losing team captain is going in the tank. <laughs> I don't want to settle down and get married and have kids, but it's time to get serious. The results are in. It's time for one of you to take the plunge. So let's count it down. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. <laughs> Let's have an action replay in 
yourself of all the wetery, but you've still got one more challenge to face. That's right. It's big. It's round. And it's worth lots of pounds! <laughs> Genius. <laughs> it's the money spinner, and after the break, these three are going to have the ride of their lives. I'm so excited I might be sick. I'll see you after the break! <laughs> where Team Skywalker has laughed in the face of our challenges before striking down Team Darth Vader. <laughs> Team Skywalker, you've earned the right to take on our money spinner. Look at the size of that thing. It's bigger than my plasma screen in my toilet. <laughs> now, I just want to say a quick thanks to Argos for donating tonight's prize fund of 20 grand. <laughs> tonight has come together to raise cash to support the work of Teenage Cancer Trust. This is how the charity helped a teenager called Dom. At 16, Dom Deacham was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a rare form of bone cancer. I was 16. It doesn't happen to 16-year-olds. Cancer is an old man's disease. You don't get it when you're 16. Whilst recovering on the unit, Dom found comfort in playing his guitar, something the Teenage Cancer Trust encouraged him to do. And it was fantastic because I was able to lose myself in the music. Because you can't focus on the tiredness, the sickness, the, the situation you're in at all. And for a short amount of time, you're just taken out of it completely. Dom has been invited to talk about his experience at concerts for Teenage Cancer Trust at the Royal Albert Hall. Let me introduce you to Dr Dom, who is uh, one of our patients who's been through it. Hello, Albert Hall! You know, I had 11 months of treatment, I had chemotherapy, and it was quite hard at times. You know, it's not particularly pleasant. Uh, this sort of event is hugely important for people to be made aware of how much of a difference they make to teenagers' and young adults' lives. Thanks to the work of Teenage Cancer Trust, I didn't lose a year to cancer. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight, and I hope you have a fantastic evening. <laughs> It was awesome. I was on stage the Albert Hall with Roger Daltrey, he was out there. Okay, that's that's a fan fancy fulfilled right there. Okay, that's that was awesome. If you want to support Teenage Cancer Trust, there are three ways you can do it. Please text the word DONATE to 70442. Text costs £5 plus one standard break message. The full £5 from each text goes to Teenage Cancer Trust. You must be 16 or over and please ask the real payers' permission. Or you can go online at itv.com forward slash sing if you can. Alternatively, you can donate at any Argos store in person. Thank you. The good news is, by making it to our final round, you've won Teenage Cancer Trust 10 grand! Well, now you've got the chance to double it! All you've got to do is perform on our giant tear table, and as you sing, it will start to spin. The more you spin, the more you win! <laughs> as long as one of you is still on board, you're earning cash. But as soon as you all come off, it's party over. As soon as the fireworks go up, they'll start banking money. What rhymes with banking? <laughs> Can't make a catchphrase out of that, I don't think. Can't do it, no. <laughs> OK, um, take your positions, please. Are you ready? You get your positions. Are you ready? They're steady. Singing the Amy Winehouse classic, Valerie, it's Team Skywalker! Well, sometimes I go out Water. And I think of all the things that you're doing In my head I paint a picture 
chat, let's have a look. Look how beautiful it is. It's like a lovely pie, shit, like a chat. Remember, they've done their bit for Teenage Cancer Trust and you can do yours too. Just go online at itv.com forward slash sing if you can. Thanks to our teams and thanks to our panel. Thanks very much. Join us next week to see more songs, more celebrities and more ways of distracting them in ways unimaginable by the mind. So make sure you join us next week for more Sing If You Can. If I don't see Fruit Week... 